Welcome. The RF6 Cloud Console is where you manage your applications, where you add new applications, add your console users, that is your application administrators, your end users, and also upload and configure all of your EDRMS metadata. Let's log in to the RF6 Cloud Console. As you can see, we have configured an application in our demonstration, the RF6 Cloud Demonstration System. We could, of course, also purchase another application. Let's look at our console users. These are application administrators. Let's look at Frank. Note that the administrator changes his or her password here. As well as the main screen, we also have a side menu. You can display your transaction history. That is, your monthly subscription payment history. You can also change your authorized payment method here. Note at the bottom that there is help. There is context sensitive help for every process in the RF6 Cloud console. We have both video and written help throughout the application for every function in the management console. If you can't find what you need here, you can also contact us via the Contact Us form on the RF6 Cloud website. Support is free. Let's look at our RF6 Cloud demonstration system in detail. The Management section is where we define record profiles, create scheduled reports, configure our private off-site record storage, and set auto number formats for electronic documents and emails. Users. The Users tile is where you add and modify end users for your application. Let's look at User Frank. Note that we have three standard levels of permissions for end users. They can be restricted to just reading, reading and writing, and for a select few, be able to read, write and delete information. The access codes are not hierarchical. You will assign the same access codes to all objects in your RF6 cloud system, file folders, electronic documents, etc., to determine who can see what. Permissions combined with access codes allow you to control the access rights of all end users. This is how you notify end users they can log on. The send link button sends this email. Record profiles is where you configure your physical record profiles for file folders, document profiles and archive boxes. You can add as many profiles as you require, as many different types of file folders, archive boxes, and document profiles. Let's look at our configured file folder profile. You can configure a unique name, a number format, with help as always, and titling rules to enforce your standards for each record created under this profile. Note that you can have any file number format and up to five levels of file title in any relationship. As always in RF6 Cloud, the help provides detailed instructions and examples on how to create a file folder profile, including how to create an order numbering sequence and how to create a file titling standard. Now let's see how easy it is to create scheduled reports. I will configure a scheduled report to email me the archive box movements report every month.
I select the box movements report. I give it a unique name. I select the criteria movements for the last 30 days. I select the frequency each month. I select the time I want the report to run. I select the day of the month I want it to run. Then I select the end user the report will be sent to. Then I create the report. Nice and easy. Let's now look at space management. This is about configuring our private off-site records storage facility. This is not for an official record storage provider like Crown or Iron Mountain. You would only use this facility if you have your own off-site or secondary record storage warehouse. We first determine how many elements we need to define our storage spaces. The default is facility name, then row, bay, shelf, and a fifth level if required. We give it a name. And then we leave the defaults row, bay, shelf, and we save it. As we have now numbered our private storage facility as row, bay, and shelf number, we can now track and inventory all records within the warehouse using the RecFind 6 portable barcode reader. The final thing for us to do in the management section is to determine whether or not we wish to auto number all emails and electronic documents as they are captured by RecFind 6. In our case we have decided to do so and have assigned auto number formats to both which means as they're captured they'll be automatically numbered. Let's now look at the import functions. All your metadata plus your logos so you can personalize your RF6 cloud application. We import data about people, file titles, retention codes, spaces, archive boxes, file folders and document profiles. You can easily import all your existing metadata into RF6 Cloud using standard CSV formats for each record type. You can of course also import additional bulk data at any later time and you can also add, modify or delete any data using the RecFind 6 client. All your records metadata is imported the same way as CSV files using our standard templates. Let's see an example of a standard template. Columns with an asterisk are mandatory and columns with a caret are links to other data tables. This functionality is for records metadata only. Electronic documents and emails are bulk imported and captured using the ER6 cloud client. You can personalize your RF6 cloud application with your own corporate logo. Note that logos must be in SVG format. As always, there is extensive context-sensitive help on this function, both in video and text form. Plus, if you're not sure, you can always contact our production specialists using the Contact Us form on the RF6 Cloud website. This support is free. Similarly, you can also personalize your reports with your own corporate logo. The final part is the usage section. Database size tells you what percentage you have used of your initial 30 gigabyte disk storage allocation. Yes, you can grow past 30 gigabyte and we will automatically allocate additional storage in 10 gigabyte chunks. Monthly downloads tells you the percentage used of your monthly 30 gigabyte download allocation. In this case, we just monitor your activity and will advise you if it becomes excessive. 
record profile statistics show a breakdown of all record types by major category and types within each category. The pie charts will expand and become more complex as you add additional file folder, document and archive box profiles. We have now covered all the functionality of the RF6 Cloud Dashboard and Console app. Remember, this is where you manage your RF6 Cloud application.